turning to uh, domestic uh, issues for a moment, uh, you mentioned something earlier about the the what you, Yanukovych can get out of this uh, come 2015. So obviously, if he comes with an association agreement signed, that would be probably quite popular amongst a, a large part of the country. If, on the other hand, Ukraine goes and joins the Eurasian uh, Union, uh, part of the country would. I don't think really care that much, and another part would be extremely unhappy about it. Uh, but how real is the support for the European Union? Because a lot of polls show that a very small fraction of the population has actually been ever able to travel, and another part says that, okay, we would like the European Union, and uh, that's all very nice, but let's wait until our kids grow up and then they can face the challenges of dealing with competition and with all the, all the, the rigor, in a sense, that the European, bring, the European Union brings. Um, in fact, uh, what, what we see with the public, uh, the, uh, the attitude to that is uh, much uh, lower from the point of uh, mm -hmm. view of expertise. People do not discuss even that uh, uh, clever words like competition. Uh, they they discuss uh, two things uh, that uh, we we see gay marriages over there. Mm -hmm. This is the most popular idea uh, when when they discuss uh, Europe. And second, uh, what they uh, what they discuss is the unemployment. So mm -hmm. they have uh, much uh, in the media, uh, supported also by uh, propaganda from uh, from Russia. And uh, then this is a very low, uh, uh, very low level of knowledge, uh, even uh, about what is what is in the free trade agreement um, or uh, any any other things. So definitely, the public should be should be informed more uh, about uh, European Union, uh, about uh, bad and uh, positive things. Because uh, in fact now we don't have knowledge, and uh, in this case, uh, the liberalization of uh, movement visa uh, case is the most important. Because uh, yes, we're right. 70, 80 percent of people never been uh, to Europe. Uh, sometimes they've been to to Russia. That's why they even cannot judge what what happens, and uh, it's enough for them even a tiny uh, information which is uh, properly prepared uh, that they hate. Europe, and then, then that's that's enough. So information yeah. is is a uh, very important thing. Yeah. Well, it, it really does seem that Europe is losing the information war by being too complex and too abstract in many many ways. Whereas on the other side, you do have very uh, poignant but very simple, in a sense, messages that oh, European Union means gay marriage. And actually, if we can maybe wrap it up with with one final question, because. Um, over the past week, this was one of the big issues. There was a big uh, protest against uh, a non-discrimination bill that would be part of the visa liberalization uh, demands. And actually, uh, today they just announced that Ukraine's first ever gay pride, which was cancelled last year, has been cancelled again this year. And uh, do you, when you see things like that, is it's deplorable, but do you think that this has any uh, effect on what's happening, what decisions will be made in Brussels, uh, when when you see that uh, you know that uh, such uh, such laws are being passed that go against the European values in such a very clear way in uh, on an information level? It's uh, you know it's not abstract. It's very clear that there is a difference of, of philosophy. Uh, I mean, I mean to be I mean to be honest with you on this issue. Um, I mean, it's something that you know, c countries that are members of the European Union today, particularly, for example, in the Baltics, etc. I mean, it took them, you know, a long time um, to have these sort of, you know, gay parades, etc. This is about a matter of culture and uh, mentality of the country. Uh, so it doesn't actually surprise me that much that this parade was actually cancelled um, again. I mean, for a country like Ukraine, which is still, you know, very closed um, to those sort of issues, and it's not just. Um, Ukraine. I mean, Moldova had really a terrible time as well, yeah. um, pushing this through to Parliament, and there was numerous protests. And other countries in Eastern Partnership. So I don't think we can just narrow this to Ukraine because I think that's quite mm -hmm. um, unfair. This is something that's a question of time uh, and information, and people are actually getting used to the whole concept. 
that it's you know more normal than they might think. But this this is you know quite difficult. Even in the Baltics today, it's quite difficult to be openly gay. You can't walk around in the streets um, hand in hand, you know, girl and girl and guy and guy. Um, so it's an issue. But I mean, I don't think um, that it's going to necessarily have a massive impact. Um, on the signing of the association agreement. Clearly for the visa liberalisation um, it is an issue so it does need to get pushed through um, the parliament and I think it eventually will but there's a big difference between having a bit of legislation pushed through the parliament and having frequent gay parades and accepting this into society from one day to the next because I think we have to be realistic in this. This is not going to happen um, tomorrow in Ukraine. I mean you know as well as I do this lots of different circles in society will find this you know very very difficult to accept but they will accept it in time mm -hmm. as countries in the in the eu today did yeah in fact uh, uh, there, there is a, a bad process if uh, there will be some uh, bargaining about you accept uh, gay parades and we give you uh, free uh, access to to europe visa mm -hmm. Uh, problems are eliminated. That that would be a uh, very bad bargain. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better uh, to, to do it step by step, but, but in any case, uh, I think there is an understanding that uh, education mm -hmm. and uh, uh, free movement is uh, the main achievements which uh, start immediately after association agreement is uh, starting to, to be implemented because mm -hmm. economic issues are difficult and not always uh, positive. Uh, the, the other things are slow, but those are very, very quick and they are accepted by the majority of, uh, of the population. So then when, when it is given to Ukraine, then uh, mm -hmm. it's possible to talk about the, that uh, difficult things about, uh, about gay parades, uh, parades and everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and of course, if you once you do have uh, communication and, and travel opened up, it turns into a virtuous circle where uh, yeah, people will be used where to where people uh, yeah and, and embrace Europe altogether. Yeah. Well, on that optimistic note, uh, thank you very much for uh, for for watching, and uh, thank you very much to uh, ICPS for organizing it. Thank you, Volodymyr, thank you, Amanda. Thank you.